Chris Myers here tonight, Aiden Killian. Everyone, welcome back. We had a bit of a hiatus. Um, did you all have a good Christmas? Yeah? Good for you, man. I was fucking miserable. I stayed here. I was in Cambodia the whole time, okay? You should be rolling. Okay. So, I was staying here. I was in Cambodia the whole time. I, I, I always find um, Christmas in Cambodia is fucking miserable. I mean, like, any old mall, they, they put up some decorations. Some of the local businesses, you know, they got Christmas trees. You got Golden Sorry Mall, there's a few old pervs using dollars as mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> fucking true, you know. But, <laughs> but um, I think it's always, you know, I, I've got a young child and they still expect presents from Santa Claus even though you know, it's not really Christmas in Cambodia. When you stay here, it's terrible. Um, but I just, that, that's, that's it. I try and imagine what would Santa Claus look like in Cambodia. I picture him. He's got his he's got his trademark beard and his red hat. But here's where things get a little bit shady, right? Because I imagine if Santa Claus was in Cambodia, he's probably going to be wearing like a wife better uh, a wife beater vest. A pair of red shorts and a pair of sandals. <laughs> if I see that, I think sex pack. <laughs> and if you attach a bunch of kids to that picture, I don't even have to tell you what you get. Yeah? I'll just tell you this: kids are not going to be lining up around to visit Santa's grotto. My parents wouldn't be too pleased either. But it's very bright. Um, I'll tell you as well, uh, last week I was here, I was actually in Three Mangoes, and uh, I was approached by a drug dealer, and um, he was telling me all about this drug called MDMA, and I thought that sounds pretty fucking interesting, great for sex you say, man, fucking awesome, so uh, I was called in to buy him some MDMA. 100 milligrams, 15 dollars. And we went home, on, me and my girlfriend, we were really excited to, stop, to try this stuff, but the thing is, it's never quite like they make it look like in the movies, you know? They always make it look so romantic, you rush in, you pull the clothes off each other, it's so passionate, you're kissing. But it's never like that. We go home, I start kissing my girlfriend, she said, I gotta go get clean. <laughs> so naturally I fell asleep. <laughs> the next morning started at nine o'clock with me licking this brown crystallized powder off the back of my girlfriend's phone. <laughs> Tasted really, really fucking bitter. <laughs> and we went, we had sex, and I fucking performed. I mean, I was on fire. It was great. Awesome sex. But here's where I realized that fucking drug dealers lie, right? Because they always tell you how great a drug is going to be. How fucking awesome the high is. What they don't tell you is that you might actually experience this thing called a calm down. I'll describe to you my calm down from MDMA, right? I was extremely anxious about absolutely nothing. And I was rattling my fucking brain, what am I anxious about? What, what is fucking grinding my chops? And then I remember, I had to go to a meeting in 40 minutes, right? And what was really, really stressing me out was that I actually had to appear human. Sounds like a pretty easy job, right? <laughs> but I was fucking sketchy. <laughs> Fuck. 
I was walking around outside my, I was just walking in circles around my motorbike, smoking cigarettes, one after the other. And you realize you're smoking too much, but you actually, you light a cigarette, you take a few drags, and then you realize you already go forward in the ashtray on the go. So I decided I had to sober up a little bit. I went upstairs and I got into the shower, you know. Always the best way to sober up. And then I got into the shower, put it on the water, rubbed on the soap. And then I, I, the anxiety overcame me. And I spent the next 20 minutes in the fetal position, rocking, as the soap dried and lathered on my body. I was crying my eyes out because I didn't like the feel of the water on my skin. Fuck no! It was good sex though. I'll tell you how you know it was good sex, right? You know it was really, really good sex. But you don't have to worry about how long you're going to last. Alright? Because premature ejaculation. This is something that's always kind of fucking captivated me. It's always scared me. Do I come too soon? I've conducted enough box pops and enough bars to know that the average man lasts about five to seven minutes. for this premature ejaculation. You know, what about you, man? What's your average? <laughs> 10, 15, <laughs> you lying bastard! <laughs> you have this hat-trick! Don't bullshit me! I fucking know! <laughs> I'll tell you, man, it, it's a real issue. Like, I remember being about 13. Like, I was practicing using cloning agents before Jorex ever had the idea. <laughs> and mine was a bit risky, yeah? Bit of toothpaste on the top. <laughs> Feeling that burn. <laughs> the, the experiment was so risky, it had to be conducted in the bathtub. Because <laughs> you had to have a quick way to get the toothpaste off. But the reasons were twofold. One, the burning sensation made you have to keep going. <laughs> Otherwise it'd sting. And two, if you were to get lucky, at least she'd appreciate the menthol flavour. <laughs> huh? Um, but uh, I'll tell you, I came up with an even better way to delay ejaculation. The toothpaste wasn't the best. Don't try it on the other one. Sorry. Use your 10 minutes in my own pass. But uh, the toothpaste wasn't a really good idea. So I started to think, what can I do to help me overcome this issue with premature ejaculation? And I started to think, ginger footballers. How many ginger footballers can you name? I'm like, you're a really good one, aren't you? And you fucking, oh, 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 Okay. I tried thinking about, you know, my grandmother and dead dogs and stuff, but I just felt really fucking guilty when I came. <laughs> That's not really something you want to experience. Oh shit, oh my god, fuck me, man. What is wrong with me? Fuck. My girlfriend's going, what's wrong? Baby, I just, 
I was thinking about a dog that had a skull crushed when I was coming. Oh. You too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you've been great. I've been right here. Thank you very much. Yeah.